What's up, Matt from Rootstrap here. In today's video, I've got another welding machine review for you. Uh, this is easily the most sort of high tech welder that I've ever used. This is a brand new machine out from Jazik. Don't think this is even out in the UK yet. And I think I'm potentially the first person in the UK to actually try this out, uh, which is pretty cool for me at least. It's a single phase, 200 amp, MIG and TIG machine. It'll do pulse MIG, double pulse MIG. Some of the tech stuff that's new and different is it's um, very computer based. It's got a touch screen, um, LCD display. It's got an app where you can connect your phone to it to make adjustments to it or to use as a remote control. It'll actually log all the welding that you're doing. The machine itself actually connects to the internet and then you've got this JTE cloud which is like a cloud based thing where you can download different stuff for the machine and uh, do all kinds of techy nerdy stuff so um, things are definitely moving on quick with uh, these welding machines so let's have a quick look I'll spare you the unboxing This all looks yellow in here, but it's actually orange in real life. But um, yeah, you've actually got a touch screen on here. Uh, or you can use it with these knobs. Obviously, if you've got gloves on, the touch screens, I'd imagine not going to work. No. So once you've got your gloves on, you're going to be using the, using it like this. So what I, I do like about the Jazzix is they're very, uh, the interface is very intuitive, easy to use. This is for setting up your mobile phone. You just scan the code and it will basically give you this set up on your phone. You just download the app and then I can use this as a remote to uh, make adjustments. Which if you're stuck in a car or something and you want to make a little fine adjustment, having a little remote thing is, I guess, could be handy. So it'll actually like log the welding that you're doing as well. So we'll do that in a minute, but it'll give you a graph of like what your weld was like. We've not got any welding sessions recorded yet, so we'll have a look at that in a minute after we've done a bit of welding, see what, see what that shows. So we'll just start with the basics. We'll just set it up on uh, MIG mode, manual, synergic, pulse. We'll go straight for synergic. So you've got some more advanced settings here. Lots of advanced settings, but we're not going to go too deep. Mild steel, wire size 0.8, which is what we are, we've got. And gas 92.8, which is okay, so that should be good to go. So we've got a little uh, thickness gauge here. It's giving us our current and our voltage. I've got some 2 mil test pieces, so we'll start with that. Sounds pretty sweet there uh, so far. So that's two mil settings straight out of the box. Really nice setting. I always say to people, synergic settings are just a starting point. You're always gonna want to make fine adjustments to it but that is uh, pretty sweet where it is people always ask for specific settings that they can put in their machines it's so irrelevant because it's different on every machine these settings to produce that result on this machine 
if I put those exact settings into that, the likelihood of it producing the same weld are really slim. It's just the way it is. There's uh, variations in everything in all the machines. So let's uh, crank this up. So that's three mil. I trimmed the voltage back a little bit, about halfway through, just because it seemed a little bit much. So I cranked the machine all the way up to uh, it's highest synergic settings and it actually tripped the tripped the uh, breaker so I had to come down a bit and that was what it was recommending for 3.3 mil at 23.3 volts it's definitely hotter than what I would probably be welding 3 mil on but I just want to see what the uh, pulse is like now 2 mil pulse just base settings So this is pulsed synergic 2 mil settings. Didn't really like the way that was going in, so I made a bit of an adjustment to the voltage, turn the voltage up a little bit. Got that laying in there much, much nicer. It's one of the benefits of pulse, you get these nice flat looking welds with very little weld spatter. There is actually Quite a bit of fine weld spatter there so with the pulse welding because the the wire is melting off before it's actually hitting the material if you get too close you'll hear it hit the material and it will crackle and uh, that's why there's spatter on there that's where i was just getting too close it's a different sort of technique you've got to be further away pushing the puddle forward this one i just played around with the trim a little bit more Less weld spatter on that one. Let's try the double pulse now. So that's the double pulse. You can see it's put all those ripples in. It's pulsing from high to low. And now it's just normal short circuit MIG. And I've put the ripples in just by manipulating the torch. I did a bit <clears throat> on the back here with it pulsing five pulses per second. And it just completely blends in. What I'm gonna do now is um, change over to aluminium uh, and it's already changed it over to one mil let's change that over for me to 100% argon one thing that is a nice little touch got a light in here to illuminate it and you've got little storage clamps for your rollers Twin drive roller system. I'm guessing if you're going to go out and buy one of these machines, it's probably going to be because you want to do some pulse stuff alley with it. What makes these kind of machines worth their money really is the fact that you can easily MIG weld aluminium. Saying that, I don't actually know 
how much this machine retails at, um, but I'm guessing it's probably not cheap. But if you're doing like, if you're building trailers or boats or something where you're having to lay down loads and loads of weld, being able to MIG Alley is uh, a bit of a game changer in terms of speed, which ultimately saves money. So I've got to change these rollers out. So I've got to change the gun as well. The um, this just comes with a uh, separate liner, a nylon liner, which you have to swap out, but I've got a um, aluminium specific gun, which is basically just has a nylon liner and it's a bit shorter. And we need to swap the gas over to pure argon. The setup, the, the setting that seems to be really crucial to get right with this is the arc length. So if this isn't right, then the wire just starts burning back to the um, contact tip too far and starts to stick. So by adjusting that down 10%, uh, which effectively like moves the fan of the arc further closer to what you're welding. Uh, I've just seen another setting we've got on here. We've got standard pulse, twice, twice special pulse. So we'll try that in a sec. I've got no idea what that is. So that's special, special pulse. Special double pulse, or whatever, and I would say it just sounds like it steps down twice before it ramps back up um, and gives you a bit of a, I'd say it's like a bit smoother. Smoothens out the sort of ripple into the next one, gets it to lay in there a bit flatter. As you can see that sits in there nice and flat. And it uh, looks pretty good actually. So, yeah. This would be why I would be looking to buy one of these machines or something similar that does this pulsed MIG, specifically with this sort of aluminium setup, is because just being able to hold something, tack it with the MIG, and then blast it in like that is just so much quicker than if you. We're TIG welding that. I know there'll be some people that TIG all day that would argue that, but um, it's just ease of putting stuff together. Uh, quite often aluminium MIG just looks terrible, but I think that looks pretty decent. So yeah, that was uh, just really a demo of the machine out of the box. Over time I'll um, you know, improve on the setup and stuff, but out of the box it seems to uh, seems to do what it says it, it should I can't really point you in the direction of where to buy it because I don't think you can actually buy it in the UK yet so you'll just have to keep an eye out um, so I just logged into this and the welder itself is obviously got a Wi-Fi connection so it just connects the two together and then they'll have uh, any updates the machine needs or if they come out with any new updates or settings, you can just add the different things onto it and uh, download the new software for it. I've got everything that's available already on mine. You've also got an alarms thing, which is almost like a diagnostics thing. And you've got this uh, welding reports page where it will show you all the different welds you've done and uh, gives you a percentage quality rating on all of them. And then you can actually click on these and it will tell you what your settings were not something i really gonna 
be getting into looking at but if you were um doing production stuff and you had a load of machines being uh run all day long you could really keep track of exactly how much work was being done um you could keep keep tabs of what settings were being used if there was ever like a a fault or a failure you could potentially come back and and look and see if there was an issue somewhere with with the setup um stuff like that so pretty advanced stuff um it's quite interesting to review a machine that's got you know stuff like this on it something a bit different but uh, like i said probably not something i'm really gonna be doing too much with to be honest so it's got a location of the machine so i don't know if that would actually track it if it got stolen or something whether you could see where it was and you also got some user guides videos on here pretty interesting like i said i've never uh, i've never played around with a welder that's this kind of computerized and, and advanced so definitely something different just thought i'd show you this in case that's something you're interested in so it's time for another welding machine giveaway this time's the jazzic evo 200 ac dc machine with a wireless foot control and i'm going to throw in a one-to-one -one welding class so you can come here learn to do a bit of this and then you can uh, take the machine home with you and i'm going to include accommodation as well i'll put you up in a local hotel lots of nice places to stay around here so you can uh, come and check out the area learn to do some welding and take this home details are in the description or you can scan this code here and it will take you straight to it but this is a great little machine i've just reviewed it if you're interested in, in having a look at the review and see what it can do all right so if any of you guys are interested in coming down and learning how to weld mig classes tig classes uh, one to ones, you can bring your own machine down, I'll help you set it up. I'm in the process of putting together some basic fabrication courses. Uh, all the details are at on urchfab.com. I'll also put the details in the description box. That's going to be it for this one. Cheers for watching. See you on the next one.